Hi kiddos, Mrs. Krantz again. So um, we are going to move on to our lesson number 17 in our SIPs challenge. So let's go ahead and get started right away. Um, last time we were together, we um, were working on um, some of our long vowel patterns. So just to remind us really quickly in review, when we see A with E at the end, it's gonna be a long vowel sound. Ready, read our sound, A. Good, like in cake on our wall chart. Sound, E. Oh, they're sticky today. Sound, I. Perfect. <laughs> Sound, O. Good. Okay, now remember there's two different, um, this vowel pattern has two different sounds. So first sound is U, like in mule. And second sound is ooh, like in include, ooh, ooh, remember the owl on our wall card. Perfect. Okay. I think we can retire those. I feel good about it. All right. Let's just go ahead um, and read our list. Okay. So remember all of that that we've been practicing where the vowels are. Are they going to be long or short? Um, so get your brain ready. We'll start with words. Ready? Read. Throne. Read. Pride, good, I, long I. Read, crest, read, Steve. This is a proper noun, that's why it's capitalized. Okay, someone's name, proper noun, capitalized, it's important. Okay, ready, read, blonde, good. Read, hmm, another proper noun, Bruce, good job, perfect. All right, here could be um, our syllable parts, okay? So think about those vowel patterns we've been working on. Read, brate. Read, crete. Read, klein. Read, what vowel sound is that gonna make? Eh, good, read, clin. Good, nice work. Okay, let's just move on to our um, syllable transformations. These are fun. Okay. Okay, now it's a new week, so let me remind you. Vowel at the end is long. Vowels not at the end are short. Okay. Read. By. Good. Read. Ill. Whoop. Read. Bill. Good work. Now this is, remember, just a syllable, so I know we were just talking about proper nouns, that if this was a proper noun in the name Bill, we'd have another L and a capital B, but this is just syllables. Good. Um, read. Um. Read. Fom. Read, oops, we did that one, sorry. Read, foe. Good, we'll do one more of these. Read, dap. Read, app. Good. Read, day. Good job. All right, let's move on. All right, we are going to do a quick review. Well, no, let's do our first, our new um, syllables. Okay, there's several of them. You guys, we're doing a lot every lesson because I'm including all of them for the lesson. So usually we would be able to go back and do the lesson a couple times and add more to it. Um, but I just wanted to give you guys as much practice as possible. So, and um, introduce you to as many syllables. So if you're like, oh my gosh, Mrs. Krantz, that's so many. It is, it's a lot. So um, maybe do, if you want to, you could write um, some flashcards and, and do them um, by yourself or quiz your dog or your cat or something, okay? All right, so ready? This is our new one for the day, or new one of the new ones, ready? This is um, a root word. It's vid, 
and it has a definition of C. Okay, so it's like video. So this root um, root word and definition. So read, vid, definition, C. We should be familiar with this one. Suffix read, ing, talking, crossing. Good. This is um, a root word. Um, it's pel, okay? P L, pel, we can sell this one out, it's not an irregular. Um, it also has a definition, and the definition is to drive, okay? So you think um, to propel, um, you can, so if you propel your boat, for example, your bike, you're driving the bike, or expel, expel is to drive out, okay? So read, pel, root, uh, I'm sorry, definition, drive, perfect. Hmm. This um, is uh, um, in the, like in the word frequent. So this is quent. I know it looks kind of long and funny, but quent, frequent. Good. Okay, last new one. Um, this is a prefix in some words. It has a definition of wrong. Um, it's miss, and it's like mistake or um, misspell. Okay, so you ha if you've misspelled something, you have the wrong spelling. So definition is wrong. Okay, so ready? Read, vid, definition, C. Read, ing, talking. Read, pel, definition, drive. Read, quint, like frequent. Good, okay. Last new one of the day, ready, read. Miss, definition, wrong. Wow, perfect. All right, let's do these, and I think we'll have to retire these after this, so if you're not feeling comfortable with the ones we do on this pack today, make sure you do yourself a favor and do a flashcard or write it down somewhere to practice, okay? So ready, read. Multi, definition, many. Read, co. Like a coworker. Read, ill, illustrate, illegal. Good. Read, whoop, semi, definition, half. Think of a semicircle. Read, ject, subject, project. Read, script, definition, write. Okay, this is our only. Um, Irregular today, meaning that we cannot sound this one out. Um, read, inter, definition, between, international, interstate. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to retire those because um, otherwise we just have too many. All right, let's go ahead and we are going to um, be reading by syllable, okay? We'll do a few of these. Read, tie. Second syllable. Now remember, this is an irregular, so make sure you're always looking at when you're looking at words. Is there an irregular sight syllable before our ending? And what is it? Okay, read. Ger, whole word, tiger. Good. Read. Cos. Second syllable, tume. Remember that E's until that E U to say scene. Tume. Try for the real word, costume. Nice work. Let's do a three syllable. Read, op. Irregular sight syllable, er. Ooh, where was I? Okay, long vowel, read, eight. Ready? Real word? Operate. All right. Nice work. All right. Now I'm going to write a whole word. And I want you guys to ask yourself some questions. Okay. Is there an irregular sight syllable? Um, when you see a syllable for each syllable break, how many vowels are there? Where are the vowels? What are the vowel patterns? Okay. This is what good readers do. Okay. Ready? First syllable. In, side, read, 
inside. And I'm gonna put the syllable breaks and underline. Okay, so as an example, we know this is gonna be our syllable break. We have a vowel, consonant, consonant, vowel, and then we have this um, irregular sight syllable that we just need to know by heart. Okay, ready, read? Summer, perfect. We'll do one more. Okay, whole word, complete. Good, you guys are rock stars. So that wraps us up for lesson number 17 for today. Um, I hope that you guys are still reading. Make sure that you're reading and practicing your fluency and your comprehension. Um, you know, you can message me on um, on um, YouTube. So message me, how, like, what book are you reading? Um, I'm currently reading a book called Above the Rooftops. It's about World War II, and it's really fascinating. Um, and uh, I hope that you guys are reading, too. Okay.